Hi everyone. In our last video, I showed you how to create database and database tables. And I also showed you how you can insert records into that table. Okay. But today we are going to be looking at how you can modify or update existing records in a database table. Okay. And we are going to be using, okay. And we are going to be using the the database and the database tables that we created in our previous video if you have not watched that i highly encourage you to go do that and i'll put the link to that video in the description below okay now if you come to your pg admin we created this database we call it company database and then if you open this and go to schemas public then you should be able to see the tables the table that we created we created employee info table right and then these are the columns but what i can do right here is on this table just right click and go to query tool and let us see what we have in that table first let us run a select star statement okay employee info so select star from employee info let us execute this very good you can see that we have how many records right here six records six records in this case we have the employee id one two three four six eight and then we have all these different records okay now what about if we want to update these records we want to modify some things on this table okay that is when we use the keyword that we call updates okay to do this we are going to be using the keyword called update okay so when you say update then what do you want to update i want to update this table so you say update table that means you put the table name okay update you know this table name and then what do you want to update on this table then you have to do sets that means you want to set a particular column to a particular value okay and in this case i can say i want to set this last name l name l name equals to a particular value okay if i do peter right here so if i say updates remember we want to modify existing records so i will say updates then you put the table name then you say set this column this last name column to peter okay so if i run this see what is going to happen right guys guys see what's going to happen if i run this you see it's updated how many rows six rows for us let us check what the table is select star from employee info you can see what we did right here guys we uh, we updated all the records inside this table so all the last name now has been changed to peter you can see what we just did we have updated this table but this is usually not a good way to update table especially if you are not in if your intention is not to update all the rules all the records right if your intention is to update all the records then that's fine but in this case let us assume we want to update a particular record or that is a particular row what do we do okay in this case this is good like i said if you want to update all the rows okay you see we have been able to update this last name to peter but let's assume i only want to update let's say i only want to update this employee id equals to one i only want to update this one so what i would then do is that i will say update employee info set last name equals to let's assume i want to update that to victor to victor right but it is only this employee id equals to one i want to update the last name to victor in that case you have to put a where condition you have to put a where condition and you have to say where employee id so you have to look for one of those columns that is unique across this uh, table we know that employee id is unique although we could also use email okay but let us use employee id because here email also is unique but let us use the employee id for now okay we are employee id equals to one so what this is saying is that 
I want you to set the last name to Victor. By this time around, do not set all the last names to Victor. Only set the ones that the, the one that the employee ID, the one that the employee ID equals to one. Okay, now let us run these guys. If I execute, it says updates, right? It's updated only one row, which is good. Let us do the select star statement. You can see that employee ID John now has changed to what Victor before it was John Peter, right? But now it is Victor. Can you see that, guys? Now, how we can update or modify existing records, okay? What about if we want to let's look at this employee id equals to three what about if i want to change the department of that employee id that stella pira if i want to change it from information technology to marketing what do i need to do take notes what you need to do is use your update keyword then you say employee info which is the table name you want to update now which column do i want to update i want to update this department column which is dept okay what do i want to update it to the value you want to update it to i will say marketing can you see that guys but then also how do i uniquely identify this stellar pira it is this employee id this employee id will help me so i will say where employee id equals to three because employee ID equals to three will uniquely identify Stella Pira right here for us. Okay. So now I'm saying employee ID, where employee ID equals to three, change the department to marketing for this table. Okay. Now I will highlight this and then execute. Very good. You see, it has updated one row for us. Let us check. Let us highlight that and check our table. Execute. You can see right here, Stella Pira right now is in marketing. I hope you guys understand this right now. Okay. Very good, guys. Very good, guys. Now, what about instead of me using employee ID as my condition? Like I said, I could also use email. Why can I use email? I can use email because email is unique across this table, right? So that also I can use. I can say, I can say where email, I can say I want to update this employee info table. I want to set, let's just say we want to set the department to, um, let's see what we want to set it to. Let's say sales. Let's say sales. Let's say sales. Where the email, you see, you can see right here, john.do at company dot, at company domain dot com. I can highlight that and right click. I mean, and do a control C and then just put the email right here. Okay. So I can say that I want to update this table. I want to set the department to sales. Right now, you can see that John Doe is, you is in human resource right now i want to set that department now to sales but how can i uniquely identify john peter right here okay that has this email address so i could use where employee id equals to two like we did previously using employee id but now i just only want, i just want to show you how you can also use email because we know that according to this uh, table email also is unique if you look at my previous video I put I put a constraint on this email column to be unique. I encourage you to go watch my uh, previous video. I'll put the link in the description below. Again, when I created this table in that previous video, we made this email column to be unique. And because it is unique, okay, that means I can also use this as a conditional uh, clause right here to be able to update this table. So I would uh highlight and then execute you see it, it updated successfully let us check let us check you can see john doe at company domain dot com it has changed to what sales i hope you guys can see that right now from human resource we're able to change it to what to sales i hope you guys understand this one other thing i also want, wanted to mention is there is also a particular keyword I want to show you right here, which is called returning. 
returning. What does returning do? Returning basically uh, helps us in a situation whereby we want to immediately see the row or the rows that we updated. So instead of us running this select star after we updated, we can we want to immediately see what we changed. What do I mean? Let me change. Let me run this again. But instead of sales, let me call it IT. Let me just call it IT. Okay. So I can say update employee info. Set this department to IT. Where my email is this John dot do at company domain dot com. But I want to see the effects that this update has done to this uh, particular table uh, to this particular record you know this particular record this john john peter which i made this email john do or even better still let's do it this way instead of setting the department let us set the last name here instead of peter let us change it to do set last name okay equals to do okay but i want to see the records immediately i update it in that case you have to choose which columns you want to see for that record so i will say returning i can say i want to say first name i can say i want to say first name i can say i want to see last name i can say i want to see email address maybe just those two or even maybe i want to see department okay so what that means is that when i run this is going to show me immediately the record that i have updated it's going to show me what i have updated as you can see right now john, we have john peter to be john dot do at company dot at company domain dot com but we want to change this peter right here to do right so when i run this it's going to return for me that record where i have updated where i have updated immediately okay it's going to show me immediately let us execute execute very good you can see right here guys that i have john doe john dot do at company domain dot com there it is sales so what this return keyword gives us is it helps us to be able to see that record where that we updated immediately even without us coming to uh, write a select star statement right here and then right here you just need to show which number of columns you want to see like right here you see that i, I have four columns Th those are the four columns that i have right here if i decide to update this let us update this again instead of doe as do i can put do right and then let me take out this department if i run it again you see that you see that i will not see this department color okay so let me update let me run i like this and execute you can see right here guys john you see that the last name now is is do right and then we don't see that last column of department anymore very good guys i hope you guys now understand how you can use the update keyword to modify existing records of your table all right guys i'll see you in the next class bye